Hi, it's Erdin. I am a campaigner here at Stand and I work on decarbonizing the supply chain of fashion industry. Um, recently, I've been thinking a lot about the news that came out that a mountain of clothing waste was visible from the satellite image. Um, I think it was in Chile and I've been thinking a lot about how consumers is and my relationship with buying and fashion and clothes have changed. And I think many of us have noticed a different, definite shift in what consumers are asking of brands. Um, and we are wanting brands to have more real sustainable practices and not just like greenwashing as a tactic to sell more things because the fashion industry is responsible for between like two to eight percent of the global emissions, which is a huge, huge amount. And as fashion companies focus more on growing their profit, growing their company, um, they're not doing enough to tackle its growing emissions because as their company grows, their so does their emissions, right? And a lot of that responsibility falls on suppliers and manufacturing countries to you know keep up with the growing demand from fashion brands and one of the things that we uh, noticed and we decided to do a little deeper analysis and research into was the use of biomass within the supply chain so to kind of take it back a few cups ago cups the conference of the parties ago um, the un fashion charter basically committed to, and the brands who are part of the UN Fashion Charter committed to phase out coal from on-site boilers. And on-site boilers are like really energy heavy uh, processes used for like dyeing and stuff. And it's a pretty important part of manufacturing our clothes. And so with this commitment to phase out coal from on-site boilers, um, brands, you, we are pushing for brands to transition and invest in renewable energies like solar and wind but something that we've actually found is that major brands like H&M, Inditex, Zara and Nike have started to use biomass to heat up their on-site boilers and also you started to pressure their suppliers to transition to biomass and I think I don't know if many uh, people are familiar with what biomass is but Biomass is is a biodegradable material made from like plants, animals, and microorganisms. So a lot of people think, oh yeah, biomass is a renewable energy. It's clean energy is so much better than coal. But while biomass doesn't have the same sort of quote unquote bad guy reputation as coal, it does come with a slew of um, negative impacts on people's health, the environment, and biodiversity. And in our recent biomass analysis that we dropped, we actually included some um, like case studies uh, and stories from communities who were talking about how the usage of biomass and burning biomass in factories have been releasing toxic air pollutants that folks in those communities have been breathing in and it has been affecting their health. And the other thing is that, again, going back to the kind of the growing demand for growth of fashion companies is that as fashion brands um, grow their dependence on biomass and start to push their suppliers to use more biomass in quote unquote attempt to transition away from coal, um, in the communities where biomass is produced, uh, bio, the production of biomass is competing with land and resources that are used for food production. Um, so a lot of communities in South and East Asia are losing land and resources. And biomass also isn't great for the environment, right? It bio, the surge of uh, biomass use leads to increased deforestation, uh, ecosystem degradation, biodiversity loss. We're probably all thinking, so what do we do about it? Biomass has been talked about as renewable energy, but 
we want fashion brands to be really transparent and clear on where and what their energy sources are and work with their suppliers and support their suppliers to transition to more renewable energy sources um, and away from false solutions like biomass in their transition away from coal. And brands have immense influence over the economy, um, economy and, you know, job security in manufacturing countries. So we are calling on brands to advocate and support their suppliers to move away from biomass and work with governments if need be in the cases where working with suppliers is not possible to extinguish the allure of biomass. Um, if you also want to learn more about what biomass is and the impacts of biomass, um, take a look, go to Standard Earth website and take a look at our latest biomass research.